Welcome to our channel, today we're going to explore failed aviation designs in history. The Boeing YC-14 was a prototype military transport aircraft developed by Boeing in the early 1970s. The aircraft was designed to compete with the Lockheed C-130 Hercules as a tactical airlifter for the U.S. Air Force. One of the primary reasons the YC-14 failed was due to the competition it faced from the YC-15, a rival prototype developed by McDonnell Douglas. Both aircraft were designed to meet the same set of requirements set forth by the Air Force, and both had similar capabilities. ...support operations from short, unprepared forward landing strips. Two prototypes were considered. The YC-14 prototype maximizes its lift capability by mounting two engines above and forward of the wing's leading edges. This forces engine exhaust over the upper surface to improve the wing's lift characteristics. This design also reduces the aircraft's infrared image to ground-based detectors. Additionally, the high engine position lessens the chance of foreign object damage during operations on unimproved surfaces. Another prototype, the four-engine YC-15, is more conventional in design, relying on large flaps through which engine exhaust is blown for increased lift. A special flight control augmentation system improves handling at cruise speeds and aids low-speed approach and landing performance. The YC-15 has a landing gear system designed to distribute aircraft weight over a relatively large area. This improves performance on both normal and unimproved landing surfaces. Both designs include an improved rear loading ramp, a high T-tail for stability, and a wider fuselage for increased cargo capacity. Both designs must be capable of airlifting over 25 tons of cargo from conventional runways and at least 19 tons from 2,000-foot dirt strips. Additional design goals require a 400-mile radius of action with a ferry range of 2,600 miles. Both prototypes cruise at speeds just under 500 miles per hour, yet can successfully maneuver at approach speeds as low as 95 miles per hour. The complex design of the aircraft required advanced technology and materials, which made it expensive to build and maintain. In addition, the Air Force was facing budget constraints at the time, which made it difficult to justify the high cost of the YC-14 program. Despite its failure to win the competition, the YC-14 was an important prototype aircraft that helped to push the boundaries of aviation technology. The advanced design of the aircraft inspired future generations of aircraft designers and engineers, and helped to pave the way for the development of advanced military transport aircraft such as the C-17 Globemaster III.